Hey everyone, in this episode we're going to create a dynamic and procedural footstep system that plays footsteps on different surfaces. So you can see we have a default running surface and then let's go on metal and then let's go on our dirt and we can switch between these two dynamically. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So the first thing we need we need is we need our sounds. So we have a concrete, a grass and a metal sound effect. And these two materials are just for visualizing the different um, materials. You don't need these. But what we need to do is go to our project settings, physics, and we need different surface types. And this will basically tell our game that there are multiple surfaces in the game. And from that we can play different sounds. So we want grass and metal and these two for now are fine since we only got a few sounds but we don't want to play these same sounds every single time we step on metal because it gets a bit repetitive so a cool trick you can do is right click and create this to a cue and since we only have one sound we're just going to modulate it which basically means it's going to change the pitch and the volume each time between these values so the minimum pitch and the maximum pitch is going to pick a value between 0 0.95 and 1.05 and the same for the volume so if we just hear this out it's a bit more different than just which makes our game seem just a bit better and let's do this for the grass we'll get modulator and if you had multiple sounds what you would do is place a bunch of your sounds in here like this so you had two sounds you'd get a random you plug it in and then you plug that in like that but since we only got one sound we're just going to put it in to the modulator and let's do that for the concrete as well Okay, awesome. Now that you've done that, what we need to do is create different physical materials. And these physical materials will allow us to apply these materials onto the objects, indicating what type of material we're stepping on. So let's call this P, P underscore material, uh, metal, sorry, P indicating physics material and let's put this to metal and this should pop up once you've put those in the project settings there's names let's just copy and paste this and let's call this p underscore grass and let's make sure that's grass now that you've got that done let's go ahead and apply this to some physical materials so Let's just drag this down. Let's give this the grass material. M underscore dirt, sorry. And we'll give this the grass. Let me just copy this over and do the metal. So make sure that this is filled in. So this tells it what physical material these objects are. And let's give it the metal and this we'll just leave at default because on default we want to play concrete sound effects so if there's nothing it's just going to play the default sound and currently it's not going to work since we haven't told the game to play any sounds based on different physical materials so what we need to do is tell the game when to play these footsteps so you can do this by going into your animations and we want to play a sound each time we land our foot on the ground so what we're going to do is add a new notify track so we can put notifiers under if you already have one that's empty you can just continue as but we're going to add a new notify and a notify is just a point in an animation where you can call code so we're just going to call this footstep sorry footstep let me delete that and rename this
let's call this uh, let's call this S F X footstep and then we're going to copy this and paste it here on each time the foot lands in the animation you're going to want to place this footstep notification notify sorry So then, on each landing, and finally, there we go. So it should call our code that we're going to create in a minute each time the footstep lands. There we go. And we want to do this for the walk as well. Okay, now that you've done that, let's just add a new track. Add notify, and we're going to get our SFX footstep. And you don't need to worry about these two, these are just previous ones I made. So make sure it's the same one you created earlier, SFX footstep. There we go. And now we're ready to create our code in our animation blueprint. So head on over to your animation blueprint and call your SFX footstep. So you should get event anim notify. So this event is going to fire each time our timeline handle hits these notifies. So you see here, it's landed on the notify and it's going to fire whatever is played here. So we want code to basically check the kind of physical material we are on at this moment and then from there play the sound that matches the physical material. So the way we can do this is by getting information from the world of what kind of surface we're standing on. So we can do this by a line trace by channel. So this line trace is going to cast down from our foot and hit the floor and from there it's going to check the material that we're on. So the way we can actually do this is get owning actor. So this is the multiplayer way because we want to know who owns this actor. From here, we want to get actor location. So you want to know his location in the world. And that's going to be our start point. So that's where this trace will start. But then we want to cast the trace downwards so we can hit the floor. So you can do this by getting a subtract and we want to subtract a hundred units from the Z axis that way the trace goes downwards and that's going to be the end so from here we want to actually check if it hit anything because if it doesn't we don't want to call anything past this point so we want to break the hit result so you break this so you can get a lot more information on what you hit and we want to see firstly if anything blocked this and if it's false that means nothing blocked it so it hasn't hit anything but if it has that means it has hit something and from there what we want to do is get the surface type so this basically means what is the surface that we just landed on and from here we want to switch on e physical service and this should pop up the materials that we made in our project settings and from here we just want to play sound at location and the location is going to be our actor location from our get owning pawn so the person who called this event get its location and play the sound there so let's just have our concrete step concrete queue and make sure that you're playing on the queues grass let's have our step grass queue and then let's have our metal step metal queue and don't forget to plug these into the location so that way it plays where the character is in the world so now what we can do is have a test so let's head on over there we go there you go
and it's transitioning properly. So that's all for this episode. If you have any problems or bugs, please let me know in the comments below 